A couple years ago, you may have heard of a little blurb in some car magazines about a company called Camber Tire, which was making tires with built-in camber. So it looks like Stance Nation kind of, except the tires themselves actually have, are flat with the ground, not at an angle. So you can run a whole bunch of camber uh, and get a ton more grip and, and, and not have it be weird. Um, now there, of course, are some interesting things about it. Uh, for instance, the tendency of a cambered tire to uh, roll like a cone, like the front two tires will roll towards each other. By adjusting the toe, they can uh, dial that out. And by uh, adjusting, by coming up with this spiral tread pattern with one single cut that goes in a spiral on the tire, they say uh, it handles better in wet and that you can pull really crazy G numbers in these cars. So. Uh, right now, I'm in a Mitsubishi Evo GSR uh, 10. It's a really beat one with 96,000 miles on it. And this is a control. So this has the same compound, the same tread, but not camber. It's, it's a zero camber tire. So we're gonna drive this first and see how it feels and then compare it to camber. So let's go, let's go a little autocross run first. I love Evos for this. Oh, that clutch is shot. Evo's good direction change as usual. All right, well these, this feels like a standard Evo. Easy to power the car through a corner, get on the gas early, and just really huck it in there. Evo's, it's like a mini GTR kind of, it makes you a rock star. I mean, the car is a total tin can but it does have a really good drivetrain. Left the autocross, <clears throat> now we're gonna head over to the track. There's a lot of technology in the camber tires. Uh, it's all new stuff, it's sort of weird. Uh, there's an extra, what they call a rocker, which is sort of an extra lip on the tire, so when you load it up, you actually get extra contact patch. They say it's good at everything. They said it's good for drifting, they say it's good for grip, they say it's good for wet, for snow, and while it's uh, sunny out here in the desert, can't really test uh, for rain or snow, we can go out on the track and uh, do a little hot lap. seat of the pants evaluation. Oh, gravel. Rally car, no problem. Uh, a little bit of understeer there. Interesting section. Yes. Fun little track out here, isn't it? Hyundai Proving Grounds. Very, very cool stuff. Pretty grippy. A little bit of understeer, but easy to transition to oversteer with the throttle. And in the Evo, it's not really oversteer in the same sense of the word. It's more like four-wheel power slide over crest. Hooah! They also say that uh, because when you run the camber, you can run uh, a smaller tire, say a 245 rather than a 265, there's less air resistance and less rolling resistance, so you will get better fuel economy too. Basically, he says they're better at everything. And, uh, well, I'm not sure I'm learning much from the control lap. <laughs> I'm just out here whipping an Evo. <laughs> All right. So, we know what the regular tires feel like now. I think we need to try the camber tires.
Here we have another Evo 10, also a GSR, uh, also stock suspension. Important to note there, both both cars are stock suspension with a two degree camber tire. Uh, so this is kind of the tire that uh, most people would buy. It's not, they have a three and four degree tire also, but it's a race tire um, and it's super stance nation. So I don't know if, uh, if people would buy those, but all right, the steering already feels lighter. Let's take a run through the autocross course and see. Do you have a radio feel, in here? Yeah, I do. Okay, ready? Oh, there's a lot less understeer immediately. That corner had a lot of understeer before. It does not now. Here's the slalom. Mm, quicker steering, I think. A little more responsive there. Oh, there's a bunch less understeer in that corner too. These tires are really dialing out the understeer. Important to note, these are the same size tires. Yep. It pushes a little still on the power, but not on the braking. Okay, so we've got less understeer under braking. Still a little push under power, but not as bad as the stock tires. And uh, you can still lift off, rotate the car. Another thing they mentioned about these tires is that because you hit cracks and stuff in pavement actually at an angle, the tires are at an angle as opposed to straight on uh, with a square tire, that you should get better ride quality um, as well. So we're going to go over, because we're at the Hyundai Proving Grounds, we have access to the special bumpy road section. So I'm going to drive down a section of bumpy road. It is, uh, okay, here, this one sort of looks like, there's a couple different ones here. This one's sort of like California Highway. It rides, it, you know, it does feel smoother. It feels a little smoother. Let's transition. Yeah, it feels good. It feels pretty nice, actually. It really does feel a little bit better than stock. Here's a steel plate. Oh, see, here's a, here's the big hole you can't see. And it'll, it feels pretty good. Okay. I I do feel like I'm going faster, actually. This, it, this feels quite a bit faster through the corners. I've got basically no understeer, and I'm not really braking for any of these corners either. Go faster. I'm way at the top of third right now. Okay, this isn't just me, this is a lot faster. It is faster. This is a lot faster. It's a lot more predictable too. It's it's eh, it understeers a little bit still, but I'm going 80 through this corner. It's quite a bit better. You can tell that right, right when you get to the limit, it just the limit becomes further. Brakes are definitely better too. Uh -huh. Well, there's some gravel there, which would explain that lack of grip. Here's some tighter corners. Okay, it's super predictable. I mean, the Evo is a very predictable car to begin with, but now it really is okay. no problem. I'm, it's, this is way stickier. I'm going, I'm going a lot faster through this section now than I was before. Let's try a launch. What do you do at an Evo, five grand? 5,500. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> and it's not, it, it, I thought it would feel a lot different. I was reading on the internet that the tires, that they feel weird, that you have to adjust your driving style for them. And I'm not really sure that's the case. I mean, I'm driving the way I would normally drive, but you know, it, it feels like the cars, uh, it's not quite a slick, but I 
I didn't want to believe this guy because the guy who makes these things is kind of crazy and weird and phone stalks me a bit. On the other hand, these tires are very, very good. Against all odds, uh, a man named John Scott who has actually reinvented the wheel, or in this case, the tire. I'd really like a set. These things are grippy, man. No joke. No joke. Mm-hmm.